Assalamualaikum, Mr. B here. Okay, in this video, I will be sharing with you how to make a ropes course just by using a tree and also a rope. Just for information, uh, we have actually created some uh, low elements, uh, low elements rope course for students here. And we are really going back to basics, going simple, going cheap, just by using the existing trees and um, rope okay so just to share that this method uh, greatly depends on where you come from um, yeah especially at certain places uh, where it's a bit more protective towards uh, tying on trees so you got to check the regulations where you are from okay uh, so for us over here uh, since the tree since uh, we are not uh, governed by the larger um, statewide regulation so hence we are able to proceed with this um, method of making these low elements for students okay yeah so back to the equipment again I've mentioned the tree you need a tree a good tree so we have, that we have it a huge tall palm tree Alright, and of course the next most important thing that you need to have is your rope Okay um, In general, when you want to do a ropes course You will want uh, ropes that does not stretch so much So if you can get a hold of uh, static or semi-static ropes That will be wonderful Okay So um, for today's video I will just show you a quick way of securing uh, the rope from the start from the first tree and then to the last tree okay so this is the first tree where the students will start okay um, well if you observe the tree um, at this point is the is the is white is narrower than the bottom part of the tree so that would be a good place to tie your line um, for a start, the rope will tend to uh, drop down and that's because you have not uh, secured the end. Okay, let's focus on the knot over here. So this is, this is literally our typical bowline. Alright, yeah. So if you can make it a bit tighter, that will be wonderful. If not, this should be fine. It will later on get uh, tighter and get more secured as we... Uh, tighten the end of the line so I've got the rope at about this height that's about my waist height uh, at this at this point of time it may look slightly high uh, but that should be an issue because it will um, naturally start to go down a bit as uh, due to wear and tear okay so now what I can do now is hold on to the line make the line tight walk with the line until we approach the entry which is right about here so over here is where you can tie a double figure of it okay double figure of it with, with a bite double figure of it it's very simple you just have to get your line make a bite and then and then you just make your figure of it okay it's a bit uh, Tough working on this uh, semi-static rope, but uh, good news is that nowadays most of the climbing or abseiling lines are pretty soft to on as compared to last time. So this is what you have: a double figure of it with a single bite. So there's a starting point of the line. Okay, it kind of like uh, drop a bit from just now as, as we were working on the line But that's not an issue, we can always move it up slightly later on And this is where we are right now Seems like it's a bit distance from the tree But again, uh, not an issue because as we tighten the rope This knot will get closer to the tree There's a gap from this knot to the tree. We 
because we have spare rope I'm gonna put this rope around the tree one full loop so that we can use the friction between the rope and the tree as extra security for the whole setup again I've got this gap here which will get closer as I tighten the whole line here we go now how do we end off? very simple just by using your half features so just with one single half hitch it will give you a quick relief from holding all this line so what we can do now is to just add another Okay. Now, the good part is to prevent this from slipping off, you may want to just add a stopper knot. Okay. Another good practice from sailing. So, yeah, when you're dealing with ropes, you are not only dealing with uh, knowledge from the climbing world, but you can always bring in whatever knowledge that you have from other. Uh, terrains okay good we have got spare rope so what I will do is that I wouldn't want my place to get messy so we just well I could actually put below look at the works that we have done all right so this is the starting point um, simple knot our old school bowline or some people call it as a boolean well I wouldn't want to argue about uh, pronunciation right now okay and then we have our double figure of it with a single bite you may also want to use the alpine butterfly that's fine too so this rope actually went round and because we had spare rope as I shot earlier I went another round around the tree to have extra grip on the tree and this line goes into the bite and I ended off with four half pitches okay you can actually just settle for two if you don't really have enough line but since I've got excess lines, so I'll just go for four. And this is a stopper knot, just in case the lines start to slip into these uh, half pitches. And the spare rope, I what I did was I just wrap around the tree, but this time round under the uh, under the initial wrap, okay. And this should hold the rope. So this is an example of a, a low cost, a quick, um, less equipment, less frills uh, setup for a low rope elements cost. Okay. Um, yeah. So we have this line. Okay. And then um, you can always decide what you want uh, to be on top. All right. Uh, a simple one is just a line, another um, parallel line for the students to hold on. I think that's called the postman's walk. Uh, well, there are also other variations for you to add uh, more challenge for the students. Okay, so uh, for that, I will just probably share on uh, another post. Okay, so um, have fun. Uh, good luck with using, you setting up your first um, rope elements for your students or even for yourself at home if you have the space. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.